Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for jumping back on. If you're new here, welcome. If you are coming back, thank you for coming back. I will be um, talking about the subject of child rearing in the Amish community. Um, that was a question that some of you had, and I thought it would be really cool to just sit down and kind of break it down of how um, I was raised. I know this is very different from for different families. Um, I cannot talk about the, the Amish culture everyone in a box because no one fits in a box and I do not like to be put in a box. So I will not put others in a box, right? Um, what was child rearing like? What were discipline procedures? Um, so I would say from very little, um, my parents practice spanking. Um, that is something that is, I think, pretty normal in the Amish community. Um, and, but I do think as we were very little, it was, um, I remember we would have to stand in a corner. Basically, if, you know, by furniture, there was maybe a furniture in the corner or wherever, whenever there was a corner somewhere in the wall or something. If we did not obey when we were little, we would have to put our nose or like put our face towards the corner. And then we'd be like, mom, can I go? Or, you know, dad, can I go? And until after some time they would be like, okay, are you ready to listen now? And then when we were ready to listen, we could go. So um, that is one of the things I do know um, we were, I was taught to not curse, to not swear, and to use um, bad language. And so one of the things that we would do if, if language came out of our mouth that was not good, um, we would have to stick our, out our tongue a little bit and mom would prick it. And um, that was, I think that was something that I had more issues with than getting in trouble otherwise. Um, and I just hate it being pricked. So that pretty much did it pretty fast for me. Um, so this person asked about timeout, sitting in a corner, ground at more chores, whatever, spanked. Um, and that Amish children are very well behaved. So I think in general, um, they do use quite a bit of discipline and they are still kids just like, I mean, I don't, they're not more well behaved than any others. It's, they are children just like anyone else, any other kids, and if they, um, but they are very, um, they do learn self-control with being through discipline and learning behaviors. So um, I don't remember ever what we would have called grounding. That wasn't, I didn't know about that. Um, I do remember when, say, we complained about washing dishes. My mom always, oftentimes when we were little, we had a chart and where we would have a, a routine of who would wash the dishes, who would dry them, put them away, do the table and so forth. And if we complained a lot about washing dishes, then there was a chance that my parents would say, well, you're gonna wash the dishes again tomorrow night. And we knew if we complained about that, another night would get in, added onto it. So um, I never minded washing dishes too much myself. And so that wasn't really an issue for me that I can remember. But um, that is something that happens sometimes. And we learn, you know, if we complain about the chore we had, then we probably had to do it again. Um, and yes, there was some spanking, um, you know, on occasion when there was misbehavior. Um, from, I would say, as very little, you know, the things that you tell a two-year-old to not do, you know, don't touch the oven. Well, if they do it, they would get, you know, you know they burn, get burned or whatever. But um, we would pull them away, naturally. Um, but I don't, um, and what are rewards for as well for good behavior? And that is something that we had as well. Um, in growing up, we, I remember we had a chart for certain things and then we would get stickers and then if we had enough stickers, we would get um, to buy something, like get cash to buy something with it or we would get certain amounts of cash. I forget all the details of how that worked and it depended on the on the chore, you know, on the behavior and our attitude and all of that. And then we would get to buy something with it. Um, or sometimes, you know, 
I remember every, during the summertime, every lunch um, we would have our chart and we would have our dishes and mom would oftentimes, the little ones, would, the young, very little ones would go for a nap and then she would right after lunch, take them for a nap. So we were responsible for the dishes and she was like, whatever we had left until two o'clock, we would get to play. So if we fiddled around, we didn't get to play at all. If we really fiddled around and it also helped us want to eat on time because we didn't want to eat late because it was always two o'clock was the cutoff. So um, sometimes we played longer than other times. And, but we knew we started with the dishes, we'd have some time to play. So that was a treat. Um, I think there was a number of times like when my parents would say, well, if you're done with the dishes by a certain time, you get to do this or get to have that. Um, I remember we did do a lot of playing in the evenings. Like that was something that my parents did well, I feel. Um, we worked hard, but we also played. And that I think is super important for kids is that they have playtime and they're not just working and working. Um, so yeah, there was different times, oftentimes Saturday evenings. I forget what we did. I think it was when we were done with the dishes or when we did it or when we put everything away. Uh, for some reason, Saturday was more cleaning, like it was kind of get ready for the Sabbath Sunday. And so if we put all of the dishes away, like in the back of the counter, the rack, everything was put away, um, there was a good chance we could all get a piece of candy. Um, so there was, we had, you know, some candy on hand. Mom always had candy on hand for treats for this and that. Um, I don't remember really ever sitting in a corner, but it was some, you know, when we were little, we would sometimes put our nose in the corner, look around, or look in the corner, or stand in the corner, we would say. Um, that is kind of the extent that I can think of as far as in school. There are disciplines in school as well that all comes on the teacher, not the, um, what is it called? Principal, we did not have a principal, it is on the teacher. Um, most of the time if there's, you know, students would really be really slow or wouldn't care about their score or things like that. There were things that they either had to stay in or if they stayed after school, which we hated doing. Um, we did not really do homework. If someone has homework, that's um, something to talk about with the parents and see what is wrong with it, trying to get to the root of it. Um, are they not, you know, what, are, what is the case here? But if there was misbehavior, um, I do remember one time when I was in school, there was a time when there was misbehavior, just little things among um, a number of the of the students and it ended up they needed to stay in at recess and wash up the floor by hand and one at a time like one did one day and then the next one had to do the next day and the amount if they had to do I think some of them had to do half of the schoolhouse it was a one room schoolhouse pretty decent class and depending on the behavior and the attitude and stuff some of them had to do the whole one so like there are things like that um, and if there were words spoken in school that were really not nice or that were not appropriate type of things, um, there were times when some of them would have to look up a word in the dictionary and write out the definition and maybe, you know, 10 times or 50 times, depending on how long and the, the situation. Um, but that is something that some of them used. Um, there was not much spanking in school. Um, I do know it happened very, if, very few times, but not in general. That wasn't the first go-to. That was when, if it got really bad, you know, got worse. Um, yeah, so I would say um, there was, you know, I think just like every parent, every other human on the, you know, we it's not good to discipline in anger and um i think they're humans you know there are times when that happens and times when it's done appropriately and so forth um they are i would say yes they are well behaved because they do really use disciplines um thankfully i feel i've um come from a place of where we also had positive affirmations and things like that and that um i think is really really powerful so Hope you enjoyed this. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out. I do have more questions on minimalism and um, different things on Amish things. So 
I will be making more videos as time goes on and I hope you have a good rest of your day.